On previous episode of Let's Find Out, we learned that a tonneau cover can save you a lot of fuel. That's right, and the truck in question is this one here, our long-term Ram. The question now is, what happens if we get rid of this, the chin spoiler? Will it save you gas? Yes, so in order to find this out, we're gonna take it on the same loop, but we have to do another baseline because it's a different day, totally different conditions. That's right, so coming up, <laughs> with and without the chin spoiler. All right, my friend, so we're at Sinclair Station as always. Why? Well, because Sinclair is one of our sponsors. Yes, and also they have Dino Care fuel additive in all grades of their fuel, including diesel. And also you could save money uh, using the Dino Pay app up to about uh, 10 cents per gallon, which is really important. But the fuel prices are actually coming down just a smidge and uh, 2 dollars for 85 octane because we're here at higher elevation. All right, dude, so let's top off, jump in the truck, and then we have to discuss why are we doing this test. This is a basic work truck, and we're using basic fuel this time. No, I don't want, I don't want the car wash. And as always, we're using a standard method. Basically, let it fill up normally, and then wait 30 seconds and top off. Aha! Now we wait 30 seconds, and then we can get on the highway. All right, we're done, dude. Let's jump in and warm up, okay? Oh, yes, please. All right, dude, are you warm? Or I'm getting there? No, I'm not warm, but I'm, I'm getting there. Man, uh, so what, what, what's the uh, temperature, the exterior temperature? Well, right 33, but you know, it feels like 10 degrees cooler than that. Yeah, it's a very light breeze, but the thing is, there's a little bit of humidity in the air, which for Colorado is kind of rare. Yeah, we're not used to this. Yeah, so it kind of sticks with you. The cool thing about Colorado normally is that it goes away very quickly when you get inside a warm environment because there's no moisture in it, but it's in it's in there. Anyway, the point is, is that that's the conditions we're in and I'm pretty sure for both loops will roughly be around the same temperature, same windage. Yeah, and we did the tunnel cover episode before mm -hmm. uh, in relatively high winds. So yeah. that's why we need a baseline. And warmer temperatures. Yes, it was like in the upper 40s, I think. Yeah, it was a lot warmer than it is now. We're doing it for science. But actually, more importantly, dude, if you look at every new pickup truck on the market right now, uh, and also going back about five years, uh -huh. they all have chin spoilers, pretty much. Yes. Other than like the Raptor, let's say. Right, unless they're a specifically you know, built 4x4 four four for hardcore off-roading. So like something like the uh, Jeep Gladiator wouldn't have one. Or the, uh, oh, of course, the Power Wagon wouldn't have one. TRX. The TRX, um, you know, Raptor. So, obvious. But every truck pretty much has it. And that is for cafe numbers, essentially. Yeah. Right? And so, we, this is what I'm learning from the engineers we talked to, is if you can prevent some of the air from going underneath your truck um, and kind of direct it outwards, right, you get better aerodynamics. So, will it actually affect our MPG? So, what we're trying to do, and there is light traffic right now, is we're trying to maintain a certain speed which we're going to be able to approximate basically the same thing we did with the tonneau cover yeah. so we're maintaining the speed limit on both of these components it's basically all highway though okay yeah. right now it's about 65 miles per hour and there's also 75 mile per hour section so we want to use the highway speed component and test exactly and maybe you're asking well why don't you guys do an urban route i don't think it'll be as telling no um specifically because this really comes into play when you're cruising down the highway and what about powertrain yes pentastar v6 baby 3.6 liter this one's output what is the output altogether well it's 305 horsepower but it comes up at higher rpms that's right. kind of how these v6 engines um, in full-size trucks are across many manufacturers. Very rev necessary. You know, I, I need that rev to get the power right. Yeah, and also the torque is not super high. It's about 269, 270 pound-feet of torque. Right. Um, so they're not torque monsters, but they're actually good runabouts. Good runabouts. This has the eight-speed automatic transmission. Yeah. This has been a, a popular transmission, actually a fairly reliable transmission that uh, Stellantis slash FCA has been using for a while and it works, I think, quite well. All right, dude, so um, there's traffic gathering behind me, so I gotta get out of this lane. Yes, you do. Um, so how about this? How about we roll a little bit of B-roll, 
Mm -hmm. Gets a little bit of music going. Yes, yeah, some music. Um, and get some miles behind us. It's going to take us about an hour. All right, so we reached the midpoint of our first loop. This mm -hmm. is with the chin spoiler. That's right. Uh, so stock truck with a tunnel. Mm -hmm. And 28 miles. Speed limit. It's going the speed limit. The temperature is about the same. And 21 MPG according to the truck. Okay, that's about right. So, um, so now it's just the point of us returning, getting the actual calculation, and then removing, removing the chin. Okay. Now, for clarity, and I know a lot of you guys out there are probably familiar with this, if you own a Ram, uh, we did take care of some of the components. We're just, uh, we just have to remove a couple more bolts and the whole thing will come off. Yeah, and we'll show that because yes. I think a lot of you are wondering how is it done and we'll show you every bolt. That's right. 28.2 miles, uh -huh. 21 MPG. All right, far out. All right, dude, we made it. We did indeed, that was an easy drive. Um, so, total miles, once again, GPS verified 57. It was under one hour, so we maintained really good speeds. And the truck is saying 20.9. Here, why don't you do that, there's a glare still. Okay. The truck is saying 20.9 MPG, so uh, let's calculate. All right, dude, let's um, once again fill up so we can calculate what happened with the chin spoiler on standard mode. Okay. We're doing this for science. It is for science. Aha. Once again, 30 seconds. <laughs> it's kind of hard to read, but we'll make sure we get the correct reading off the pump. Okay, good. As always with our loop, let's find out. 57 miles, divide by 2.591. That's the gallons with the chin spoiler, or air dam. 22, dude. 22, far out. All right, dude, so I looked this up. There are four 10 millimeter bolts, and then uh, 13 clips. Here are the clips that we removed. These are the white ones. Uh -huh. So there's four bolts. I'll show you. Hey, Andre, do you think you're near the horn? Uh, please don't honk the horn. You know what I'm thankful for? Tell me. I'm thankful for the sun. It's actually uh, one degree warmer. It is really cold out here right now, and I'm on the verge of shivering. But yes, the sun does help a little bit. By the way, how are you doing over there? Uh, perfect. Um, actually, I'm almost ready for you to uh, help me remove this chin. Uh, all the hardware, I think, is removed. So now we just need to kind of firmly pull down. You mean like that? Oh, my gosh. I guess it's off. Hey, dude, it's success. So the second loop is done. The truck is saying 19.9. All right, let's see what uh, the pump says. All right, dude, so that was the previous result with the air dam chin spoiler. And now let's calculate the second one. Same exact loop and 3.160 gallons. <laughs> Holy cow! What a difference! A uh, huge difference. Well, we had some wind condition on the way in the second run, but, right. but still, that's a huge difference. That is a massive difference. So guys, let us know what you think in the comments below, and as always, alltfl.com is where you'll find everything automotive. See you next time!